It is a very rainy day today. It's a quarter to three in the afternoon. I stayed up late last night till about half past one and then went to bed and got up at ten this morning. So I had a right lie in. And ever since then, pretty much all I've been doing is getting the vlog up for Sunday night because I've got a busy weekend and I want to get it done, make sure it was done so I can concentrate on doing my other work during the weekend. My daughter's gone out to a local cafe with local friends. I would have loved to have gone as well because it's parents and offspring. I would say children, but they're all getting a bit old to be calling them children. So I'm not going, I just can't. I've got to be out by about half past four-ish, so I've got, what, an hour and three quarters. I really want to do an hour of flute, warm-up, practice, technique, whatever. I've ordered a book of new exercises and it hasn't come yet. I wanted to do it today, but I think I'll have to wait till I get back again. So I'm going to stay at my boyfriend's tonight. I'm gigging with my normal Kaylee band, but Mick isn't coming today because he's busy doing something else. So we've got a different caller who's Ned, and I'm going to go and get a train and meet Ned and uh, go to the gig with him and then go back to my boyfriend's with Hugh who's going to drop me there so I've got it all planned out and then tomorrow night's gig is with a different band which my boyfriend is actually in so I'll be with him for that as well but he's been away you see so I haven't seen him since our date in Sainsbury's Ponty when we came back with the cat gate so it'll be absolutely lovely to see him again he's been off gallivanting he always invites me along and even offers to pay for me when he has his musical playing weekends or, or a few days away but usually I've got gigs and can't go anyway and also you know I don't want him to keep paying for me all the time but he's been in France anyway having the best time ever he's traveling back right now and he's not a fan of traveling he's better at traveling when he's got me with him because I've always got a snacky bag and I feed him feed him snacks if he gets grumpy anyway I've got a few little bits and bobs I need to do before I can practice number one is restocking my gig bag with earplugs there's two reasons that I need earplugs for gigs I think I'll pop them in this bit here I'm putting in loads in case anybody else wants any. So number one reason is I like to pop one in one ear if I can't hear myself properly. There's a very noisy echoey room sometimes I can't hear myself and I do need to be able to hear myself as well as other people because I can't tell if I've gone a little bit out of tune and I need to be able to hear if I'm in tune with everybody else and in time obviously as well. I mean you know the timing because your fingers are doing what your fingers are doing but you know if you sing and you put your finger in your ear or you talk and you put your fingers in your ears you can hear your own voice through conduction well believe it or not I can hear my flute sound through conduction also so one ear plug in the ear does absolute wonders and also if I'm singing as well and the monitoring isn't very good the speaker's facing us so that we can hear ourselves if that's not very good for whatever reason that one ear plug in the ear is a very good way to just make sure I'm singing in tune and it helps me to sing more confidently but also because quite often when we finish doing our Kaylee gigs a DJ takes over and they ramp up the volume and it's absolutely ear splitting and yet we've got to methodically carefully dismantle the PA pack everything away carefully not be rushing it you know because everything's got to go back in its right place sometimes things need a bit of a wipe down whatever so yeah, a bit of protection for our hearing. Now the other thing I need to do, <laughs> good old WD-40. This is not ordinary WD-40. This is non-conductive contact cleaner spray specialist stuff. Because my flute mic, sometimes it's just not worked at all. It's been at like two or three occasions, three occasions, three that I can think of, where it just wasn't working at all. And then I changed lead, because I always have a spare lead. I always have at least one spare lead. And I changed lead and it worked straight away. And was like oh maybe it was the lead or whatever that's happened three times but it's been different leads each time like one time this one didn't seem to work so I swapped it to this one then it just worked for ages with no problem and then I used this lead and it just wasn't working no matter what so I swapped it to this lead and then it worked whereas this is the one it wasn't working with before so it makes me think it's not the lead but maybe it's the bit that the lead plugs into. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of a clean in case there's some kind of muck or dirt in there that's stopping the contact. Because I think maybe it was just the act of pulling it in and out that made it work. Anyway, so I'm gonna give it a little squirt now. Yeah, if you ever do anything like this, it's important not to use the normal WD-40. I'm so nervous about overdoing it. Um, yeah, don't use the normal one. This is a special non-conductive one. It's for electrical. Right, I'm going to put this in and out a few times and wiggle it around. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. And hopefully that sort of smears it around and gives it a good clean. I might do this with all my plugs, actually, all four of them. And fingers crossed it works because these mics are 180 quid. I don't want to be buying another one. I haven't had it that long. I've had it since November last year. And the one I had before, I lasted years and years and years and years. I think I might have had two mics in 20 years. 
and they were the same make, which was Microvox. Right, I'm boring you, I'm gonna turn this off now. I'm back, I've been cleaning my lead ends, so I'm gonna do my pot, my potenti potentiometer, potentiometer. Because these can get noisy, you know, um, oh, come on. These can get a bit noisy sometimes. You turn in them on and off and they go and like, um, it comes out of the speakers really loudly and everyone's like, oh, what's that horrible noise? Um, so hopefully that cleans up. I'm not quite sure what angle I should have squirted that at, but while I'm at it, while I've got it out, I might as well give it a quick go, stitching time and all that. Right, so hopefully we have a nice trouble-free sound check tonight then with no mysterious mics not working issues. What is it with leads? They, leads, if you're a musician, you know, like that was just not tangled up a minute ago. I'm trying to do like a shot where I'm just wrapping it up and chatting about what's happening and I can't cope because this just doing this <laughs> stop it Duh. this is where i need mick to just patiently take it off me and coil it up right okay take two so i'm thinking i'm gonna make this vlog into a two-dayer because the venue that i'm playing at tonight we've played at before and it's got a very strict social media policy any video footage you film you have to submit to them for approval before you can release it and there's no way i'm going to do that because i do not want to hold up my publication i need to film it edit it and get it out the next day so i'm just not going to film there at all the last time we went there, they fed us the most amazing feast. And I actually regret not filming that bit because I don't see why that would have been a problem if I just got a close up of the food without revealing the location. So if that happens, I'll do it. Right, let's get this away now. And I'm gonna go practice my flute and I'm not gonna film it because I'm pressed for time and I just need to crack on with that and concentrate fully on it. So I'll speak to you a bit later. 10 minutes to go till departure. I'm not changed for my gig. I'm just, I'm wearing my civvies. My gig clothes are in there. It's ages till I'm gonna to get to the gig. So I'll change it when I get there. I've got too much stuff to carry. This is gonna be an absolute pain. That weighs a ton as it is. That's my MacBook editing stuff. Camera gear in there and bits and bobs that, you know, chargers and stuff that go with it. That's my miking up gear. I couldn't fit it in there because I've got a packing cube full of clothes for the next two gigs tonight and tomorrow so there's some tidier shoes I'm afraid I just can't put my Doc Martens in there they're too heavy and uh, flute of course a couple of folders of uh, stuff that I need for the two different bookings and that's about it really well I managed to get it all here I tell you what that was officially too much I should have put it in a trolley today I think my skeleton's hurting at the back <laughs> and it's raining to boot so I had to carry an umbrella as well got on the train and look I got a table which is great so it means I can spend the time editing well, I've done all the editing I need to do for now and I want to say a big thank you to somebody, Kerry and Dan, for the Buy Me A Coffee donation. Thank you so much for that. It's pretty quiet on the train, to be honest, and I've got a bit of time left. And you know what I do when I've got a bit of time? Duolingo, yay! I'm off the train and there's Ned waiting for me. Hi, Ned! I see they've built a new junction just there. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that! That's a fancy word. They're oh, called cool. tram trains. Oh, right, yeah. People already complain because they said basically it's a train without a loo. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm anti trains without loo, so I'm filming by the way. Did you know that? Yes, that's all right. <laughs> oh, you clocked I won't the camera. Swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to take a few views out. I don't think anybody noticed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Ned couldn't get his car in the other side properly because there was issues. It was all. Yeah, as you can see, stuff going on. There we are, look faster. Yeah, That's what we're waiting for. They're not looking forward to the no loot. The, the idea is that you're never that far from a station with a toilet, but the problem is a lady with five young children, that's not going to be no, you get simple the train and easy. Yeah, exactly. B4348. We're near. Won't be long. Oh, yeah, very pretty. Miss this turning on the way back. Okay. So it's after that terrace there. That's the, ah, there we are, Molten Chapel. Oh, very Jeez. tiny looking. It's about 20 past 11 now and I've just got back to IB. IB is not here. He's travelling back from Bristol Airport as we speak. So he'll be in about midnight, I think. So I've got full reign of the house. Don't go on the rampage. <laughs> no, not really. I'm just going to sit down and watch some videos probably and relax for a bit. Anyway, I'm going to carry this video on tomorrow. Hello, it's the next morning now. Well, actually it's not. I think it's the afternoon. It's actually really quite late. We've both had very long lie-ins and got up late and I've actually been doing some editing and just various bandy bits, like writing in details for upcoming gigs, trying to sort travel logistics and things 
things like that. Ivy's been sorting his bag out a little bit. I knew your bits and bobs. We're going to go and hopefully have breakfast in a cafe. We're going to walk there. We're going to have a bracing, healthy walk through the rain, actually, because it looks like it's just started raining. Just our luck. But I have got a coat and an umbrella, so it should be all right. Right, I'm actually going to go and check the cafe closing times now because we have got there in the past and it's been closing, which is annoying when you've walked for a couple of miles to get there and you've worked up an appetite. I'm glad I checked. It's shutting quite soon. If we set off now, and Ibi's not ready because he's just had a shower, if, even if we set off now, it would be shutting in 15 minutes after we arrived, so... No, it ain't happening. I'm gonna have to think of something else. And Ibi's stocks are right run down as well. And he's lent his car to somebody, so... I don't know if we can use the car. Probably not. Until later, when we have to go to the gig. It's turning into one of those days where the schedule just keeps changing and changing and changing and changing. Anyway, so it's two o'clock now, we've eaten. We just cooked in the end. Um, a family member turned up with children, so we've been chatting to them, which has been very nice. We are gonna have a walk imminently and it's just started raining again. It literally stopped, we ate outside and then the rain started again, just as we're about to go for a walk anyway. Yes. Now I'm wishing I brought my zoom camera. Look at these beautiful ducks all in a line. They've got this flash of blue. Are they male or female? Because I thought they were female because they're mostly brown. I'll see how much I can creep up on them. Oh no, they're off. Boys or girls? What do we think? <laughs> Bless you. Black tar spot. Black tar spot, is it? We're just stopping a moment to look at these sycamores. They've got these awful spots on them and I was just trying to remember the name of the disease, but Ibis just looked it up online. It's round pathogen that commonly affects sycamores and maples. Oh, right. In late summer and autumn, causing tar spots. Tar spot does not usually have an adverse effect on the tree's long-term health. Oh, good. It's an ascom... Oh, God. <laughs> Ascomycet? I don't know. Ascomycet. <laughs> fungus that locally infects the leaves of the trees and is a biotrophic parasite. The disease is cosmetic and is therefore usually controlled only with sanitation methods. Oh right, okay. Well I'm glad it doesn't kill the trees, that's, yeah. that's good. I was a little bit concerned about that. Well, we came in, I practiced my flute for about 40 minutes, doing a bit of a warm up, ready for tonight's gig, and now I'm gonna have a shower. We're going to a Kaylee. All clean showers, and get, you'll never guess what we have for our dinner. <laughs> would it be starting with a P and ending with an Asti? Yes, it would. We were a bit low on supplies, so I'd be just chucked a couple of frozen ones in the oven, and that's all we've had. But we are getting fed at tonight's gig, and it's a hog roast, but there's always gonna be something for veggies. So I'll be all right. Oh, here comes the rain. Just in good time for us to unload the gear in it. On the back of that van there, there's a pair of trainers. <laughs> I think they might have been banished because of being stinky or something. It's amused me. Oh, oh, this is looking like it could be it. Yes, I think it is. Yay. On the right, 100 meters. Oh yes, and we're in good time as well. Deliveries. Delivering ourselves. We haven't had any specific parking instructions. Well, we got here in good time, but I think the speeches are overrunning, so we can't get in yet. We're hovering in the entrance. We've got all the gear in, waiting to be carried in as soon as they're ready. Look at all these grapevines. This is a vineyard, the hotel, you see? And we've got actual real grapes growing. See? Little itty bitty baby ones at the moment. There we are my hand for comparison. There's a marquee there and we're going to be playing in there, which I won't film, but that's where we're going to be. Coach coming in for some reason. So we've just, yeah, quick sorry, vlog. Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, you can be in it. That's Alex, he's staying with us tonight. He's a fantastic fiddle player and many other things. So we set up behind a curtain, they've just been doing their speeches, they've just finished. So we're playing on this bit here. And with this venue, you actually have to go through their own sound system via our desk and our mics and everything. And there's a decibel meter, and if we stay up too high for too long, it cuts the volume down to so there. <laughs> well, we're all done. We had a 10 o'clock finish and we finished, we packed away and we're heading off home and I'm actually going back home to my house tonight. Hello, it's about quarter past 11 now. I've been home for a quarter of an hour. I've been chatting to my daughter downstairs. She is watching telly and I've come up here to say goodbye to you because I didn't want to disturb her any more than I already have. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Could please give it a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.